Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a ballet tutu. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. And um, we'll get started, I guess. I should say that at the end of the um, video, I decided I'd like to change the colors. So here are two versions of the same ballet tutu. Thanks for watching. Recently I did a video on how to paint ballet shoes and today's video um, is a tutu. And so here's my drawing of the tutu, ballet tutu, which I did on tracing paper. I thought they would make a nice set of cards or prints for a little girl's room. And I plan to do them on 5 by 7 or possibly 8 by 10 prints and sell them on my Caroline's Art eBay site. The first thing I'm going to do, because I want to do a pink tutu, somewhat like this one that is hanging behind uh, the ballet shoes, I'm going to paint the background grey again because I think pink and grey look lovely together. So I'm using a 3 quarter inch flat Taclon brush and the paint I'm using I got from Walmart actually and it's Apple Barrel um, Granite Grey which I think is a nice pale granite grey. I usually use Basics when I'm painting with acrylic, um, Liquitex Basics. They work really well for me and I'm going to add some white Liquitex Basics. Uh, as long as it's all acrylic it really doesn't matter if you mix up different brands and I'm going to just put in a very fast background I want a swirly mixture of grey and white because I think it looks interesting if it's what they call variegated in plants. <laughs> I think it looks nicer if the hints. I bought a, a new um, easel, tabletop easel, and I've got it adjusted with um, foam because I haven't got it the right height for my camera. And I have to work on that. Just putting straight white on there now. A little bit more down here. Okay, that's a nice swirly thing. Now I've got these, I think they're called Kabuki brushes from the Dollar Tree and they make great blending brushes. So I'm just going to stroke over that. I don't want to wipe out the colors totally but I just want a soft swirly cloudy sort of blend I think that would do that's quite nice I like that and that's the background for my tutu I'm going to allow that to dry um, and um, if I were painting in water mixable oils which I won't I'm going to paint this entire thing in acrylic but if I were painting, this would be a very good um, hard shiny surface when it dries or a hard surface when it dries. And so if I make any mistakes or want to adjust my picture in water mixable oils, it's easy to wipe off that surface. If I had just left the canvas, the canvas would have absorbed, even though it's been primed, it would have absorbed too much of the colour for me to be able to wipe it off without having to repaint the background. So um, I really like painting all my uh, pictures. I like to paint the background in, or at least a background, in acrylic paint on there, just to give me a base to start off with. I can use acrylic gesso as well. That does the same thing. I've transferred um, my image from my tracing paper onto the um, canvas panel and I'm ready to begin painting. I'm going to start with the hanger and um, the hooks and I won't show you much of that. 
I'm using raw sienna for this part. I'm using raw umber um, for the shadowiness underneath. Okay, so I've got every pink and purple I can I actually own on my palette. Um, I've got a magenta, a um, pink parfait, um, that one's lilac mist, that's an apple barrel one from Walmart. Uh, Brilliant Purple, that's a basics. Um, what else do I have? Well, I have two kinds of magenta, but they both look pretty much the same, I guess. And a purple, which I forget, but it's a basics purple. So I'm going to start um, by putting on just this basic pink. I'm just doing the whole thing in this pink. It's what I call a mid-tone. So I'll be putting highlights and shadows on in paler and darker tones than this color. I usually start off with my mid-tone. I'm going to paint um, this strap this mid-tone pink as well if I can like I said I don't have a very steady hand so I go in afterwards and touch up a lot of things Now I'm going to take my dark purple, which I forget what that one's called, and I'm going to put in these lines. And I'm going to stroke in some magenta next to them. I don't mind if it goes over them. And sort of down the side. to give it dimension. It's beginning to look a little more realistic as we go on. Okay, that dark color is actually called Prism Violet. I've added some uh, titanium white. I'm just going to sort of stroke it over. This is not a highlight, I'm just it's adding color really, just adding some white to give me that um, look of, I forget what that fabric is called. Adding a little more magenta. I'm going to leave these little um, 
shoulder. Um, I'm thinking of them as little wings. They're just a little decoration. But I'm going to leave them white. We just keep working away at the tutu. And um, this fabric is called tulle and it's sort of a fine net and it's spelled um, T-U-L-L-E. trying to give the illusion of two. Just keep stroking in downward strokes. Now the bodice is satin, um, so the bodice will have more shine to it. So I'll work on that in just a minute. I'm going to add a little titanium white to the bodice. Even over the shadow of the sides. Oops, I had too much water in my brush. I'm going to add a little more pink to that. This is magenta. It's coming I think along. as a picture it's a little plain so I think I'm going to brush in some pink to surround it. I feel that this would go well in a little girl's room, a little girl interested in ballet. And if she was anything like me and my little girls, she would just love more pink. You really can't have too much pink in a little girl's picture. And if this turns out how I hope, this will be a print available on Caroline's Art on eBay. Oh my gosh, that's much better, don't you think so? Yes, I like that. I might even go a little darker around the edges. just using my magenta whoops a little too much on my brush there that's okay we'll pink it out I think that's way too much so I'm going to go over it again with some white and soften it. I'm going to use some purple to put some suggestion of decoration and I'm just going to use little dots. I 
that's good enough, I think. And coming back in with the pink. my cat. And just Every stroke you make leaves an impression of that brush stroke, which gives that illusion of tulle. It's what I tell myself. make up my mind whether I want this more pink or paler pink. I think that looks pretty. I think I'm going to use my purple on the top corners. I think that's pretty, but I think I prefer it paler, so I'm going to put on more titanium. I think it's getting there. I think that's quite pretty. So after looking at this, I found a couple of things that I feel I could change. And one is these, um, let me get a brush so I can show you. These little wing things that I have going from the, um, the tutu straps. I'm not too keen on those. They don't show up very well. Um, they're meant to be sort of Swan Lake signet type things and it really didn't work out for me. So I'm using my grey and titanium and I'm going to just paint out the shadow. I'm refining this top shadow a little bit too because it's a little heavy I find. There. They weren't terribly definite anyway to start off with. I wasn't too keen on them I suppose from the get go. Okay, I think that looks better. Now the other thing is, I'm going to take a photograph of this because I like the vibrancy of the uh, magenta and um, um, the pink parfait, I think that was the colour I used. I used an apple barrel paint from Walmart and I also use a Liquitex Paste Basics Pink Magenta. Well, it's just magenta, not pink magenta. Actually, it's medium magenta. 
So I'm going to photograph it and that will be available as a print on my eBay site, Carol Ann's Art. And then I'll come back and show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, so I've added a touch of raw sienna to my pink and you can see it's given me a much softer color, much softer. And I'm going to do over the ballet dress um, using that pink and around the edges. It will make a totally different look, I hope. So here we go. I'll be mixing in white with it to give it that lovely swirly look. We'll do the outside edge first. It's looking different already. I'm using my do dollar store wet and wild makeup brush and I'm just going to quickly go over this give me a very soft look. Maybe we soften it down this side a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same with the Just dress. a touch of raw sienna has given me a much softer pink. So I'm going to do the whole dress in this softer pink. might just leave that as the darkest and go with white. to give the effect of the tool. I don't want to, I felt that I had that really well in the first one. I don't want to lose that. The I find the acrylic titanium white as it dries it dulls. So you have to keep going in with it. I'm going to I kind of like that pink the darker magenta as the shadow. I think that works quite well. So I'm going to take that works quite well. I'm using the very edge of my brush to give me those lines to sort of suggest tulle. I want to suggest many layers. Nope, I haven't got that shape right. 
if you um, make a mistake, as long as you, I'm working in acrylic, so as long as you um, take it out quickly, you're all right. I think that's, I think that's quite nice. I think that's much softer. It gives a different look to a dress. Some people will prefer the, the vibrant one. Some people will like a softer look. And going over this one. I think I'm happy with that. Because I feel with stuff all day so I have to tell myself to leave it alone at some point and I think this is that point thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up if you did and remember these prints 221 and 222 will be available on my eBay site Caroline's Art thanks for watching